you know, a lot of people fucking found it to be kind of gay. I really don't know why. It was, you know, it's a simple story. This person got a curse placed on them. And, yeah, that's basically what the movie was pretty much about. <laughs> it was, you know, a pretty simple fucking storyline and shit. Um, but anyways, that's coming out. Uh, oh, no, no, the fucking, the movie he's doing is called uh, The Pos uh, Possession. What actually put now? Watch this shit right here. Okay, three fucking pea shooters. So I place one of these here and one of these here. If you guys can, I'm pretty sure you guys can see my cursor. Hopefully you guys can see my fucking cursor. But these pea shooters, they and then later on, what you can do is you can make your peas um, become on fire. And once you fuck it, once your peas go, you know, basically catch on fire. They do so much more fucking goddamn damage. And you just have all these pea shooters lined up and shit. And they just rape literally anything in his path. Uh, which is why the pea shooters are so fucking valuable. And we'll place a pea shooter, a triple pea shooter there. And as we see, something comes down this lane. We have two peas already. And we're not, we don't even have anything in this lane. So this P triple pea shooter is definitely worth the goddamn uh, extra points or whatever, you know, little sun happy faces, little smiley fuckers, <laughs> whatever you want to call these things, whether, uh, I mean, they, 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 we'll just call them money, all right, I mean, it's the, it's the easiest way to really think of it as that, uh, but anyways, the movie is called The Possession, and it's supposed to be coming out this August, it's, you know, you see, most demon movies have to do with the Roman Catholic Church, um, oh, you fuckers, Okay, this is actually... Oh, my God. This dickhead is not very strong, but he's he's a fucking hiding motherfucker because he doesn't come up until he's actually eating some shit. Like, watch. Look at this fucking penis brain. Fuck you and fuck your mother. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> he ate a goddamn lily pad. What a fucking man whore. Fucking mangina. Okay, anyways, uh, the movie is called The Possession, but pretty much, um, like, like I said, most demon movies have to deal, you know, deals with the Roman Catholic Church, because obviously, you know, demons, you think more, more so, you know, comes from, uh, Roman Catholics and shit like that, especially the church. Well, this movie is actually about a Jewish demon, and I've never seen a movie that has really dealt in, like, you know, a different religion other than fucking, you know, uh, Christianity, especially Roman Catholics. And it's going to be a really interesting movie. Um, and it's directed by Sam Raimi, so it's, of course, going to be a fucking great movie. I mean, there's going to be nothing wrong about this movie other than the fact that people are probably going to get raped in it. Um, the only problem, though, that I have about the movie is it's rated PG-13. Um... Now, there has been movies that were rated PG-13 and they kind of bumped it up to an R, but the majority, the vast majority of Sam Raimi's films are PG-13, and you know, I mean, it really doesn't matter, but it's just, it's fucking, any rated R movie, it's just better, because if you think about it, you have more gore, which is better, you have just, you know, it's, it's just, I, I can't really explain it. Just picture if the movie fucking, let's see. What's a good horror movie that would be, like, rated PG-13 rather than R? Like, for example, the Resident Evil films. Resident Evil 5 is actually coming out this, uh... When the fuck is it coming out? I think it's coming out November or October or some shit like that. But anyways, alright. Fucking you motherfuckers. Alright. This is actually something where actually is fairly useful. It's kind of like a little trap that you place in the water and shit. Um, but anyways, Resident Evil 5 um, and Resident Evil 6, the video game, is coming out this uh, December or no, no, November, October, some shit like that. Um, just imagine if the Resident Evil fucking series... Why are you going to use this little guy? Um, imagine the Resident Evil movies were rated PG-13. Yes, they would bring in a hell of a lot more money to the Resident Evil movie franchise. But you want to know what? Resident Evil already fucking had a humongous fan base and already made 
hundreds of millions before the first movie ever came out. So, if you really think about it, they basically had money already. Um, if Resident Evil didn't have money already, be, you know, coming into their franchise, I, I'm really, it, it's really 50-50 if you think about it. Maybe they would make their movie PG-13, which, you know, it would get a lot of you guys that, you know, aren't uh, over 17 or can't, or won't, can't convince your parents to go. Um, when I was, when I want to see a rated R movie that my fucking parents did, didn't want to see or didn't want to take me. What my fucking mom used to do when I was like 15 or 14 and shit. And then once I turned about 16, I, I kind of, you know, kind of, it really depended on which girl was at the ticket box. But I really never got asked my fucking age, which was, you know, pretty cool. Um, but anyways, when my uh, mom used to do was just buy me the fucking tickets and just give them to me and just leave the theater. I mean, that's a kind of cheesy way, but you know what? You get to go and see your fucking favorite movie that you would, you know, you're waiting to see in the movie, um, and you can't get in without a guardian. Like, I remember the movie, when the first Resident Evil came out, I don't remember how old I was. I think I was, like, either 15 or 16. Might have been even 14. It's been a, a long-ass time since that movie's been out. Um, but I remember that fucking, they were checking IDs like a motherfucker. And sometimes, you know, my parents couldn't get me in to see a fucking movie. Which kind of sucked, because I remember a lot of good movies that came out when I was a, a kid and stuff. And, you know, a lot of times I actually just said, you know what, fuck it, just stay, it's going to be a good movie. And my parents actually hated the movie. Kind of like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the beginning. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> my my fucking my mom really wasn't uh, too fond of that movie, but um, anyways, yeah, you know, making a movie PG thirteen it does bring in a lot a lot of money, but it kind of devalues the movie because you pretty much take away a lot of blood and guts, and you just kind of, I mean, you just you take away the fucking gore. <laughs> You can't make a zombie movie without gore. I don't think there's one fucking zombie movie out there that is rated PG-13. Even, even fucking Zombieland is rated R. I mean, if the movie Zombieland is rated R, then that should tell every motherfucker, hey, you know what? Maybe we should make all zombie movies a mandatory rated R. You know, and then, like, I think it was a couple years ago I read in this uh, movie magazine that movie theaters, or rather Hollywood, uh, the, I, I don't know if they're attached to Hollywood or if they're attached to movie theaters in general, but one, uh, one fucking, like, one guy wrote an article basically saying that how he was going to try to make movies, because if you really think about it, a movie that's rated PG-13 and then it goes straight to being rated R, that's that's a really, really big fucking jump. I mean, because you go from, you know, G, which is everyone, then you go PG, which, you know, is still everyone. If you if you can't get into a PG film, you're, there's something, you should file a fucking lawsuit against your movie theater. And you're probably most likely win. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone not getting into a, a PG movie. Um, I've heard of a couple people not getting into a PG-13 movie, um, but then again, they looked like they were fucking toddlers, and they were trying to go and see the movie, um, I think it was, I think it was, uh, Big Daddy with, uh, Adam Sandler. Now, you know, there are some dirty fucking things in Big Daddy, but it's still, it's a PG-13 movie. You know what I mean? It's, it's nothing bad. But, um, anyways, this one guy was talking about adding a possible, you know, in-between setting between PG-13 and, like, R. So, instead of, you know, maybe adding something that's, like, PG-15 or, or you know, PG-16 or... I mean, PG-15 would probably work, but if you really think about it, the way a movie gets rated PG-13 is they can only say the word fuck in the movie once... And they are limited to other curse words. And they... 
I think they can only show partial nudity. Uh, basically, like, you know, show, like, half a titty or something like that. <laughs> they, they can't... <laughs> they can't show, show a full booby, but they can show, like, you know, fucking half of it. Like, in the movie uh, Tomb Raider with, with uh, Anjali Jolene, you see half of her booby. You know, it's in it's a PG-13 movie. But, um... And then, you know, of course... From fucking PG thirteen to R, and R you can basically it's it's you know it's everything pr pretty much basically everything. Um, so you know having it a PG fifteen for a PG fifteen movie maybe you can say the word fuck twice and make it a little more bloodier and gorier and shit. Now, like I said, there have been really good movies and scary movies that have been rated PG thirteen, like the movie The Ring scary as fuck, uh, the movie The Grudge, scary as fuck, um, y you know what I mean, there's been a ton of other movies that have been PG-13 that have still been pretty goddamn scary, it's just the fact that they don't show any blood or don't show, or, you know, don't use, uh, language at all, um, what the fuck is wrong with that asshole, alright, <laughs> he was a charging motherfucker, <laughs> oh boy, but, um, as for them adding another, you know, rating, probably not going to happen. Because then it makes people's, you know, lives a little more difficult. And one thing you guys will find out as you get older in life, there are a lot of fucking lazy people in this world that just don't want to do their fucking job or don't want to do anything because they're extremely lazy. Especially when people are making a set salary. Like, if someone's making a set salary and they work 8, you know, 8 in the morning to, or 7.30 or 7 o'clock to, like, 4.30 in the afternoon, they they become very fucking lazy. You fucking man whore. You just ate my goddamn triple, pe pe my triple penis. <laughs> you fucker. But, like I said, you you guys will see that there are extremely lazy fucking people in this world. And, you know... One of the reasons why they probably don't want to make it PG-15 is because it involves more work. Uh, even though, you know, there are a lot of people who work really hard for their money. But as for people that just make a set salary, uh, eh, you know, it's, it, they become lazy sometimes. And you gotta smack them. And you gotta remind them, you'd be like, listen, motherfucker, you get paid. You do this now, or you die, and I kick you in the balls. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Thought we almost lost a triple wiener there. All right. So, basically, we're going to be on 3-5, which is halfway through this world. Woo! Woo! We just got a key. What do we unlock? I forgot what we unlock. You can visit the Crazy Dave shop. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Found my car key. You know what that means. Tiddle, tiddle, D business. Da, 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 da. Humana, humana. Okay. Now this some this is something you fucking need, cause you play you if it's basically like an add-on feature, cause you put it on your fucking on your um you put it on your goddamn sunflowers and they produce double the money. The only problem is that I really need eight slots, so it's going to be sluts or money sluts or money <laughs> sluts or money sluts or money I choose fucking money yeah fuck it you know I, I got oh my god oh boy I, th I think we actually made kind of a wrong fucking choice there um mainly oh boy oh boy holy shit uh, actually you know what we're actually going to um Turn to main menu. <sighs> kind of really all zombied out right now. But uh, anyways, yeah. So I'll be making more of these videos. Don't worry. And uh, if you guys are enjoying these, then uh, let me know in some nasty dirty little comments. And uh, yeah. See you guys in a few. Bye.